Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody. As once more, we're going to pick up the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 15 the show. So you see here, it is 2017. We have made the changes. We're through the offseason. Here we go. Let's go figure out what has happened in Blue Jay land since you guys last joined us. So here we go. Let's take a look at the lineup. Micah Johnson is still leading off. Jose Reyes in the number two slot. Edwin Encarnacion. At first base in three, Hunter and Fro is 78 overall, Travis is 82, Martin is 85, Rusny Castillo. Okay, here's where we get to it. Where is Jose Bautista? He is now a Boston Red Sox. We got this trade offer for Rusny Castillo for Jose Bautista. I think it is a tremendous trade. 83 overall, B potential, 29 years old. He can grow up to... A, an 87 easily if he has a good year and that's huge because Jose Bautista was down at an 85 he was 35 or so he was getting time to move on so there we go seven hitter Michael Saunders is in the eight hole and Matt Carpenter is our full-time third baseman Jerry Sanchez 72 overall Dal Dalton Pompey is struggling to reach anything at 69 but he could jump this year and we have a bunch of the rookies over there so let's take a look at the pitching rotation, and Aaron Sanchez is 86 overall, Marcus Stroman is 85, Drew Hutchison is 78, Daniel Norris is 77, and so is Jeff Hoffman. These two need to jump big time and get up to about 80, 81 by mid-season for us to have any hope. Marco Estrada is still in the pen, and Chris Withrow, Mark Burley is now a pen player, and so is Miguel Castro. We picked up Jacob Lindgren in the Rule 5 draft. He's 78 overall, a relief pitcher at B potential at 23 years old. It was a no-brainer. And here we go. We have Thomas Adon Andrade at uh, setup position right now. He'll go back to the minors. JP Howell's still setting up. And Howard Murakami is a 74 overall. Awesome for him. So here we go. Let's get through the spring. That's as far as we'll go in this video. Just a quick little update video of 2017. If you guys have questions, shoot me the question after I've recorded this video and it's up on YouTube. And I will be happy to answer in the next episode. So here we go. Sim through the spring and looks like we are not doing half bad. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, okay. So no injuries. That's the upside. But we went 13 and 6 in this spring. So... Not exactly the way we want to go. We'll take a look at the lineup. We have Micah Johnson. He hit a home run. Jose Reyes hit a home run. Edwin Encarnacion was off the charts hitting seven home run. Hunter Renfro hit four. So did Devin Travis. Martin hit three. Rusty Castillo had 250 and one RBI or one home run and nine RBI. Michael Saunders had, holy crap, six home runs. Incredible. And Matt Carpenter, hey, he didn't really get it going. That's okay. It's only the spring, but you see here, this is the thing we're looking at. Michael Saunders is a 77 overall. That's amazing to see. And, of course, another guy we picked up was Sean Castro, 68 over sh overall shortstop. Kind of our infielder for the season, just to sub in. So, good little helper he will be, hopefully. And we'll take a look at the pitching stats. Sanchez was blown up. Stroman was blown up. Hutchison did all right. Norris did okay. Jeff Hoffman was fantastic, and it looks like the pen was rather blown apart. Miguel Castro did great. Jacob Lindgren was blown apart. Andre was great. Howell was blown apart, and so was Murakami. So really not exactly the way we want our bullpen to be performing this early in the season, but guys, that's all we can expect. So let's advance to the 2017 regular season. Let's take a look at our full-time bullpen, and we've got Castro, Withrow, Lindgren, Howell and Murakami there and you guessed it that's the way the rotation looks you can see this is the way they want our kind of our slots to look but you know what I like Hunter and Fro in that four slot and I like Matt Carpenter down there and against right handers no DH we want still Hunter and Fro in there but we'll move Michael Saunders up to the two hole, or five hole, pardon me. And against lefties, this is where it gets tricky. We want Renfro there. And we want all our rough. Oh, that looks good to me, except for 
You know what? No, Micah uh, Johnson. Can go there. And against left-handers, we want Micah Johnson in there. Perfect. So that looks good to me, guys. I hope you guys are excited for this 2017 Blue Jays season, the last potential year for Yak City Gaming as GM of the Blue Jays. We'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Leave a like on the video. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. So long from Yak City.